Virgo. Welcome to the full moon in Sagittarius reading for June 3rd, 2023. Uh, full moons close out cycles and the theme for the next two weeks for you is the magician. Not a bad card. It gives you a yes answer. And on the card, on this particular card itself, it gives you a yes answer. But it's also here, skill, manifestation, and leadership, and self-confidence. Um, I agree with all that, but I can take the magician a little bit further. For me, it is mastery, for sure. Um, but it's focus, and it is focusing on your vision, your concept of something. Um, so every decision that you make can be uh, can come up against the ideal the concept the vision that you had for something it's kind of like you become aware or conscious of something and then you're like okay i want to master that i want to learn that i want to know everything there is to know about it and i'm going to use it and it's going to you know do wonderful things for me and my business or my life or my health whatever it is that you uh, envision and if you keep that focus, and again, like I said, you, you, you compare every decision to that particular vision that you had and it aligns, it lines up, then you're, you're moving in the right direction. Which is not to say that a vision can't change, but there should be a, an overall vision that, uh, that, you, can, that you can use as, um, as a, as a a way of gauging if you're going in the right direction, for the direction that you want to go in. So, it's a good card. And negatively aspected, it can be manipulation. But it doesn't seem like there's too much negativity here with that Knight of Pentacles, unless, of course, you're procrastinating. But otherwise, this is a very, um, it's a nice firm offer. It's not going anywhere. Uh, timing is quite important when the Knight of Pentacles uh, appears, but it's a really good offer. Okay, let's see where that's going. Ooh, <laughs> nice. It's going where there's some cash flow. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is very interesting with the magician because this is somebody who appreciates skill and the magician is skill right it's skillful um it's mastery and the knight of um pentacles i'm sorry the nine of pentacles is um i mean this could be an offer of inheritance an offer of money a job offer um something that's good for your physical but i really do get finances here with um with the Nine of Pentacles. And it's feeling very comfortable. Very comfortable in your atmosphere, the money that you make. Um, this is a very uh, strong, independent person. The snail, uh, you carry the house on your back, so you are self, um, self um independent. This can also be inheritance. So if you've been waiting for something, it may come through at this time. You are behaving as a Sagittarius, a page of wands. This is a very expansive energy, and that makes sense with this because um, he is looking to plow fields, right? He's got the seed, and the, the ground is tilled. It's ready to be planted. And the Page of Wands is up for a new adventure, a new field to plow, <laughs> in a sense. So he is definitely looking for a new adventure. This is my student card, but it can also be a student of life, right? You could be going to school. Uh, you could be graduating and just searching for a new job, and you get something, and you get something really nice, if, if that's the case. Um, it could also be... Um, receiving uh, money for uh, a master's or going to college to be able to create this wealth and to create this um, beautiful um, atmosphere around you.
we are kind of looking into the future because the Knight of Pentacles isn't somebody that moves quickly. Um, and again, timing is very important. So if we are looking at timing here, Sagittarius could be towards the end of the year. And again, the snail offers a slow movement. Slow and steady, it gets there. Uh, seven of Pentacles means that you are kind of, it's about persevering. But it's also doing some checks and balances, right? Um, if you're trying to sell something, you may be, you might get an offer a little bit under. So you're wanting nine, you may get seven. But there is this feeling of editing, right, with the Seven of Pentacles. These are his fruits that have ripened or are ripening, and he's getting a little bit anxious about uh, when they're going to ripen because, um, yeah, the bills are due, and, uh, you know, he's got to sell his wares to pay for his new tunic. <laughs> and um, so the Seven of Pentacles often says, how do you wait do you wait with faith or do you wait anxiously? That's also very important in this situation. Um, but also editing. Would I do this again? Would this be the same crop that I uh, grow? Would it be, uh, do I want these fruits anymore? Do I want turnips instead? You know, it's that kind of energy. Did I like what I had uh, created and, and um, grown up until now? Or do I want to do something different? So there's that contemplative energy that comes along with this as well. But it is persevering. It is definitely um, waiting for those fruits to ripen. But you know what they always say, uh, you know, a watched pot never boils. So he's pretty much looking very intently and waiting for them. Maybe he should occupy his mind with something else. And that might just happen with the Page of Wands because this is somebody who is expanding his mind. Maybe you're expanding what it is you want to um, to do or grow or whatever. But there is this need for expansion. And it could be that you could be learning something while you're waiting for something to uh, ripen with a current job or position um, or um business that you are doing on your own because this is very independent energy um, how does it end in the two weeks well you have the knight of wands card and that is um, messages but here's the interesting thing and this just happened with Leo for me as well but when I have two of the same card on either side it tells me to just look at the center card. In fact, they're both pointing in his direction. So there can be news or information that comes in with the Knight of Wands. This is usually electronic, so text, um, telephone calls, emails, that sort of thing. But it gives a very excitable energy. It's um, a little erratic, the Knight of Wands. Um, he wants to move quickly, whereas this Knight of Pentacles says, well, all in good timing, in proper timing, rather. But the Knight of Wands is um, hoping for something else. And the interesting thing is both of those energies kind of funnel into the Seven of, of Pentacles, which gives you that sort of feeling of, yes, I know I have to wait for my fruits to ripen, but can it happen quicker? Let's see what message is coming in. The moon. We could be waiting for the message. The moon is something that is not quite clear. There's some fogginess around it. There's some kind of energy of I'm not sure, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Let's wait until the moon um, changes and maybe we can figure it out. There's, there's some insecurities there when the moon is concerned. But there is also some intuitive psychic energy and maybe the Knight of Wands is that information that kind of comes in that gives you a hint of something or it can also be that the information that comes in makes things less clear. And you may even need to go a full cycle. So 
you may need to go another two weeks before you get that full answer or before you decide what's going on here with that seven of pentacles and how you want to switch things up or edit the situation if you want to because the moon is full right and then you have the new moon and then you have again the full moon so you would need that full cycle to really get clear on what it is that you're doing or even for these um, fruits to ripen and again maybe you're expecting a full nine but you probably think you're at seven but who knows with the moon things aren't clear just yet this is the end of difficult mental situations that's good uh, it looks pretty tough but we're looking for some mental peace where this is concerned so there could have been an offer of some sort that wasn't going anywhere or no one was picking up at it let's say you put your house on offer just for example and again, you've put it at nine and no one's biting. No one is, um, or there was an offer and it was rescinded, something like that. The Ten of Swords means that's the end of that situation. It's not coming back. They're not gonna, they're not gonna put another offer in. Ten of Swords is really uh, kind of like stick a fork in me, I'm done. And at this point, it's sort of just really looking for some peace of mind. But the Ten, uh, nine, ten, the 10 is the end of a cycle while simultaneously beginning a new one. So I don't think that's a bad thing. I think this means that any um, mental difficulties that you may have had are now on their way out. And that can be because somebody has offered something and you get that um, wonderful amount of money, maybe more than you had uh, thought. Yeah, there's this feeling of boredom or wanting to move on to something else. And that's what I mean with the Page of Wands. It's very expansive. Also, the Knight of Wands, it's let's do something. Let's go somewhere. Let's make a move. Let's push it. Let's. And the Knight is saying, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't push anything. But the Knight comes with the Nine of Pentacles. So, I don't know. Who are you going to listen to? And maybe that's part of the problem with the Moon. We don't know. Something is being offered here with the Four of Cups. You have three empty cups here. These are the three cups that maybe didn't fulfill you. Or it's kind of like the party's over and now I'm stuck doing the dishes kind of energy. Um, because it it comes after the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups are the muses, um, the, the joy of life, and, uh, you know, being grateful for it all. But it's it's a bit of a party. It's a bit of a good time. And then once that's over, you have a hangover with the Four of Cups. So there is sort of this dissatisfaction or boredom. Okay. You have some friendly energy here with that Six of Cups sharing his caring card. It's the past that comes forward again for a review. And I do feel like that's kind of what's happening here because, again, these uh, are past crops. They've already been planted. They've already uh, grown to a certain point, and now they just need to mature and ripen. And so we could be, again, revisiting... Um, do I want to do this again? Do I want to go to this place again? Do I want to uh, offer myself to this place again? Um, so the Six of Cups is um, it's my platonic card. So if this is somebody or one of these people, it doesn't seem like it to me. It doesn't feel very romantic. But if this was a romantic reading, I would say it's probably platonic for now. And who knows with the moon how it can how it can go? We don't know with the moon. It's kind of foggy, and we don't think that it will go well because there's that insecurity with the moon or those deep subconscious fears that come up that we have to deal with. And the Six of Cups is saying, um, you know, for now it's platonic. But it's also a very kind sharing card.
I want to pull one more for that. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. This is my Capricorn card, so this could be the person who's a good friend that maybe you wanted more, but that doesn't... I don't really see that here. Other than the fact that there's something being offered that may be rejected on, a, on an emotional level. But the problem with the Page of Pentacles, which is my Capricorn card, is that they feel things very deeply. They just often don't have the words to say it. Uh, they can be at a loss for words, but it doesn't mean they don't feel it. But the problem with that is then with the moon card, you don't know, you know, it's, it's foggy. And so your, your fears can get away from you. Or maybe this is even the person, right, who is offering you something. Um, and it may even be a friend. The problem here is that you may think it's not good to do business with friends. This could be a person, for somebody who's studying, this could be a person that you may um, room with or uh, study with or go to school with or it could even be somebody that you would have to leave behind when you go away. It could be a good friend that you would have to leave behind. And that could create some emotional disturbance as well. You would miss the person. What does Spirit want you to know? Well, you have the Chariot card. So that really is kind of becoming more self-confident, um, aligning yourself really with what it is that you want in the way you think about things, feel about things, and just kind of that vision, right? The magician, that guiding um, vision that, that says, okay, I'm going to align myself. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to create. This is what I want to learn. This is what I want to grow. And I will align myself with that. I will keep my thoughts on it, right, your head. I will keep my emotions in the direction that they, I want them to go, your feelings, right? And all of that lines up, and you're ready to go. The chariot is ready to go. There's movement. So where here there was some stagnation, this brings movement. <laughs> but it also brings some insecurity or something that we could be unsure about. However, I do have the feeling that there's somebody around to support you and to help you and, um, and see you through this situation. Okay? Yeah. I think it ends on a good note. Thank you for listening. I hope this has been helpful. I'll return in two weeks with a new moon reading, and um, I do dailies. Thanks for listening. It is much appreciated. Take care.